So today I decided to take another look at a Hannah Montana album, and this time we are not going to be looking at an album from the series, we are going to be looking at the album from Hannah Montana, the movie. Now every Hannah Montana album has a general theme. While the theme for the season 1 album was country pop, and the theme for the season 2 album was pure pop music, the overall theme for the songs on the Hannah Montana, the movie is full on country music. And I'm a country music fan myself, and I can't wait to rank all 18 songs from Hannah Montana, the movie. So without further ado, here we go. What's not to like? I'll tell you what's not to like, it's this song. Something about this song and its melody has just never clicked with me, so I don't really like it. I don't like it at all. It also sounds like filler music to me. Now this is one of the several songs on this album that's not sung by Miley Cyrus slash Hannah Montana. And for the most part, the songs that are not sung by her are pretty decent. However, this one is just pretty forgettable. But I do like the reggae vibes. Now this song is actually featured in the ending credits of the movie, and I think it's actually a pretty good place for the song. Like it's not bad, but it's not deserving of being featured in the main show. You know, it's playing in the ending credits as people are leaving the movie theaters. Yeah, that's where this song belongs. Now I would have ranked this song lower if it wasn't for its production. I really like the guitar intro. It's what makes the song very memorable. And I like how it's used in the movie. It's shown in the part where we see Lily's birthday party on the pier. And overall this is a pretty okay song. But the production is what makes it. Now Let's Do This is one of the two songs in this movie that's also featured in the third season of the show. And I actually really like this song, but I don't like how it was used in the movie. It was just shown in the ending credits. This song is not deserving of an ending credit slot. And also I do think it was a smart choice to feature this song in season 3, because I feel like the song was utilized a lot better in season 3 than it was in the movie. <laughs> Leave it to Rascal Flatts to give you a good old country jam session. I really like this song, and I also liked how it's Miley's first impression of Tennessee, because she's been gone in California for a long time, and then when she comes back to her hometown, she sees everybody like jamming out to some good old country music, and ugh, I just really like this song. She is so in trouble. This is one of the very few Hannah Montana songs where she's talking about fame, but she's not talking about it in a braggadocious way or in a complaining way. I also really like the song's melody, and I like how it's shown in the fight scene between Hannah Montana and Tyra Banks. <laughs> Now 
Now, Let's Get Crazy is the second song in this movie that's also featured in season three of the show. Now, I've always felt like Let's Get Crazy was a pretty middle-level song. Like, it's not bad at all, but it's not, like, big and loud and in-your-face, like, Nobody's Perfect or Rockstar. It's actually, like, pretty laid-back and chill, which I guess is okay, but personally, I like the big, loud, in-your-face songs a lot better. What a groovy song. This song is very fun, it's very playful, and I just love the melody, especially in the chorus. Leave it to Taylor Swift to deliver you a spectacular country love song. I love how it's playing as Miley falls in love with Travis and Robbie Ray falls in love with Lorelai. And this song is just so beautiful and the storytelling is amazing. Also, Taylor wrote this when she was 13. Let me to you now, this type of song is something you would never find in the series. Just because the series is so like fast-paced and like constantly go, go, go. So I like how for the movie they got some songs that are slower and much truer to the characters, like their country life. Because this is a very country song. Ooh, a country ballad. I don't know if this classifies as that, but this song is beautiful. I love how it's playing as Miley reminisces about her late mother. And this song is easily my favorite Rascal Flatts song in the entire movie. Now, Back to Tennessee is easily my favorite Robbie Ray song in the entire Hannah Montana franchise. This is an upbeat country song, which is my favorite type of country song. And also, as much as this movie is about Miley and her whole Hannah Montana thing, I love how they also gave Robbie Ray a chance to shine. Now, this is one of the best if not the best Miley Robbie Ray duet in the entire Hannah Montana franchise. It's right up there with Ready Set Don't Go and Love That Let's Go. And this song is just beautiful. This song is just a good time. Now, I've heard people say that this song is like Miley's Macarena, and yeah, I guess I would agree. Everybody was doing the hoedown throwdown dance move back in the day, and I don't blame them. This song and its dance moves are really infectious, and it's just a really good time to jam to. Now, this is one of my most played songs from the entire movie. I really like how it's simple but powerful. And also, this song really allowed for Miley's vocals to shine, which makes me love it even more. You get the best of both worlds. Chilly, I'll take it slow. Then you rock out the show. You get the best of both worlds. Mix it all together. Now, we already know that The Best of Both Worlds is the series' iconic theme song. However, this version of The Best of Both Worlds turned the iconic theme song into an anthem. And also, when a lot of shows change up their theme song, a lot of them don't do it very well. However, not Hannah Montana. They made an excellent song even better. Now, 
Now, is The Climb iconic? Yes. I mean, it is the highest charting song in the whole Hannah Montana franchise, and it is a song that Miley still sings to this very day. However, there's one song on this album that just means more to me personally. From the moment I heard the song, I already knew it was going to be my favorite song from this entire movie. I feel like no other song quite represents this movie like You'll Always Find Your Way Back Home because that's the essential purpose of the movie, never forgetting where you come from. This song is just so positive, so heavenly. I also love the key change in the last chorus and Taylor Swift co-wrote it, which makes it even more amazing. Anyways, that's my ranking for all 18 songs from Hannah Montana the movie. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.